Good morning, folks. We're running down some far side solar eruptions, earthquakes, a tragedy in India, and a peak at the tentative schedule for OTF 2018. If you missed yesterday's news tying increased solar storm effects to Earth's pole shift and magnetic reversal, I recommend it. It's very worth a watch. But right now, we're going to spaceweathernews.com and finding the last 24 hours on our star relatively calm, but for the slightest visibility on the right side of those CMEs still erupting as they turn away. As that one heads at Venus, we're looking at 304 angstroms so that you can compare the limbs. Tons of plasma filaments incoming on the left side to complement and replace those departing on the right. Solar wind remains more or less in normal range, perhaps a bit elevated in particle speed, but we expect a much faster stream and strong impact when the northern flow gets here tomorrow. In the October 7th morning news, two days ago, we said this was setting a lithospheric watch for seismic activity in volcanoes until that stream arrived. We are still waiting for it, and wouldn't you know it, but a moderate to strong planetary geometry resonance indicator was active too. Mercury swung behind the sun, and there was an uptick in activity. One of the most active earthquake days we've seen in months. Three large six-pointers struck around the globe, but luckily, nobody felt them. Alaska was a blot echo more than 100 kilometers down. Two blot echoes before twin rumbles straddling the trenches. Nobody down south there in Tongan shake off sixes like fruit flies. Sad to have to report this next one, a rare foray outside our normal discussion topics, but dozens of farmers have died and hundreds of people are in the hospital due to exposure to pesticides. There wasn't a leak or a spill or anything. It's just the stuff they put on our food that is poisonous. Many lucky enough to only lose their eyesight. Does your food have pesticide on it? Oddly, everything from the sun to GMOs, spraying the sky, Earth's magnetic reversal, and the health effects of cosmic events. All topics at Observing the Frontier 2018. We will post this in a few days, but for now, if you want to take a closer look at every line, just hit the pause button on this video. It is a very tentative schedule. I would not expect it to look exactly like this in a few months, but the talks you see here are happening, along with the talkers. Register for the conference at the same place you get our books, including Cat's new children's book available for pre-order, and every pre-order this month is guaranteed to arrive before Thanksgiving and will come with little gifts for whichever little one will be receiving it. We've got the rest of the world's wind maps, null school, and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.40 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.